Everybody, Sean and Curtin here. Um, this is my navigator, Lisa Ruit, and we're getting ready for King of the Hill tomorrow. And we're here with the Datsun 120Y, which is new to us this year, um, as we were driving a 160J last year. But we've got the 120Y with a SR16 power plant, and um, we hope to have some fun tomorrow and kind of shake down the car because we haven't been able to do any events so far for the year. Uh, we've been busy building, so this will be the first real chance for us to get used to it so we hope tomorrow we're gonna have a lot of fun and um, just get a feel for the car and see how it behaves on on which surfaces and hopefully do pretty well it would be nice if we could place high up in any group we're running in Clubman and hopefully everybody will just stay safe have a good run and everybody just have a good time Jeffrey Elliott here from Barbados, driver of T10. Um, 200 Turbo Datsun, it's really a 120 way up on some steroids. Um, it now has a 2 litre turbocharged engine, the Sylvia engine, the S13, uh, with some slight modifications on it, and a little wider flares, and a couple of spoilers. Uh, the car is working well. Uh, we are hoping for some good, I don't want to say results, well, but we want to get the end, um, as usual, entertain ourselves. Once we entertain ourselves, we entertain the crowd, uh, and that's what we're really looking for this event. The car has some potential, so we can just see what it can do. But I guess tomorrow's King of the Hill, and the roads are a little rough. But we'll see what the conditions are, and that will tell us, give us a good idea for what's happening for the Rally of RB 2012. Hi folks, it's Alan Mackay out here again in the lovely, as we call it, fun in the sun. What I've been doing since I've seen you all last uh, was Jamaica. I went out to Jamaica, had a fantastic time. It's what's called loose, uh, loose surface. Real good time, good club. Uh, and then we got the car shipped over here. Dave Crawford, very kindly, did a few upgrades on the car, which was needing done. And we're ready for, as we call it, fun in the sun. What's my expectations of this rally? Well, I've done it twice, so the expectations are as normal, but each year you manage to lift it another another level. I don't understand how you do it, because each year when we go home, we think, wow, that was maximum. This year, the, the garage facilities uh, are tremendous, and we're, what we're expecting is a good day tomorrow. We're going to do two serious runs, and then I do have my entertainer run to do. Uh, I'm hunting Jonesy down. Jonesy already is crocking a little bit. I noticed he stalled twice in the car there, and I always say it, and I'm repeating myself, but it's about the spectators. It's about the spectators. We actually hear them. We're, we've got our helmets on, we've got the intercoms on, we've got the car revs, and I actually hear the, the spectators as I come up the corner. Fantastic. Keep it going, especially the ladies. And um, 
get into following weekend. We've got my son and ten supporters coming over on Monday, Tuesday. That is to hold all the Scottish flags up. We're Scottish and we've got an Irish contingent sitting beside me. But this year we've got a Scottish flag, a Barbados flag in between, so especially in, and another Scottish flag. I like to think that's a bond, and that's a serious note. That's a bond uh, you Barbados people are doing with Scottish and Irish people. Thank you. I'm here with John Powell in Barbados. I'm just wondering how you did in the Trinidad event. Um, we did pretty well. We had some stiff competition from Sean Gill and Jeffrey Panton and uh, Gary Gregg from Jamaica. Um, we were able to um, come back from, I think, being fourth or fifth overall on day one. And uh, we came back and won it on the Sunday. So that was a good rally for us. Okay, and also you did a rally in your hometown, Jamaica. How did that go? Yeah, that went really well for us. Um, again, we had a good battle there between um, Sean Gill and Gary Gregg in, uh, in Jamaica. And um, we were able to also come away with a win there as well. So we've been able to get two um, good wins under our belt back to back. So you overtake Gary Gregg. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Gary is my good friend. Um, yes, um, we, we did. Sean Gill um, was very quick. Gary was quick, um, but you he were had a quicker. couple of mistakes, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we were able to we were able to capitalize on it. Good. And now we're here in Barbados, and this is your favorite event, isn't it? I think there's some sarcasm there. <laughs> um, I have some very good um, supporters here. Um, I do like the event, but I'm not a tarmac lover. I prefer the gravel a lot more. Um, my driving style suits the gravel more. So this has always been a hard rally for me and the guys, I mean, you have Paul Bourne, uh, Roger Skeet, Sean Gill, um, Roger Hill, um, you have some foreigners, Paul Bird and Steve Perez, and of course my good friend Jeffrey Panton from Jamaica. So I mean, this one is going to be very, very, um, it's going to be a tough rally. And how many times have you done this event here in Barbados? Uh, boy, good question, I can't remember. <laughs> no, so it's been a lot. Um, I've done it a few times, a couple times in some WRC cars. We finished second twice. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I think this year we have a good shot at it. We have a very good car. And um, can just hopefully to, to keep it on the road and do well. Well, that's great. I wish you all the best of luck. And, yeah, have fun. Thank you very much, Jessica. <laughs> We're here in Barbados. Peace. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Neil Armstrong. I drive the Toyota Starlet. Um, it's a 1800cc uh, Toyota engine in it, uh, it goes pretty well and we're looking to kind of keep it steady, keep her on the road, uh, see where we end up at the end of the day. Um, driver of one of Jonathan Still's former BMWs. That was the rather clever segue into this second interview. Uh, and winner of... Scrutineering at Simpson Motors has been going on for the last uh, few hours. It's now over. Cars are leaving. The important thing is that uh, Sol Go Further Scotiabank King of the Hill is tomorrow morning, Sunday, and of course on June 9th and 10th, Sol Rally Barbados. What's going to happen? I don't know. I meant to know, but I don't. There are 101 drivers starting King of the Hill tomorrow. Who's going to win? 
six, seven, eight people are in with a chance. It's going to be a fantastic weekend for everyone, but nowhere near as good as Sol Rally Barbados the following weekend.